this is what we're making. Hi neighbors, it's uh, Jerry Ellen here and welcome back to Cooking with Neighbors. Uh, today, I am making cowboy caviar. Let me show you what that is. I would, anywho, let's get started. In this bowl, I am putting, I strained off and rinsed. You can uh, do two cans of uh, black beans and one can of black eyed peas. I'll put the amounts in the in the description box below. Let's uh, get a mixy thingy here. Huh? And to this, I am adding a can of Rotel. Okay. And I am adding a couple of avocados. Inside that is my hands are clean. Another bit of avocado. Wait till you see what the uh the sauce is for this, this that pulls it together, and it's so tasty. You're going to, after it's put together, you're going to leave it marinade uh, for a few hours in the fridge if, uh, to get out the, you know, optimum amount of flavor. I'm using two avocados because we like it. You can put as little or as much of this as you like. I could use just a spoon to do that. There we go. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna put a squeeze of lime. A whole lime, my dog's starting to looking for stuff over in the corner. Okay, Harrietta, one sec, honey. Give it that freshness with the lime. Okay, Harrietta. One sec, honey. Mommy's almost done. Okay. Got a little stir. Now, here I have half of a large red onion. One bell pepper, you can use green, red, yellow, orange, doesn't matter. And I chopped up finely, one second, I'm just gonna let my puppy, she's once up in the chair, one sec. Yeah, puppy, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You're Okay, and I finally diced up some pickled jalapenos. Use as much or as little of that as you like. And finally, I have a small container of grape tomatoes that I quartered. I'm putting that in. There we go. I'm give this a mix. And here you can get a can of uh, whole uh, corn, but I had frozen, so I thought it out. It's about a can's worth of corn. So mix that in and wait till you see the next ingredient. I'm making a mess. Sorry, puppy, just eat your treats that are there. This is not for, this is not for you here yet, it is for humans. Okay, now, next ingredient. We gotta give it a good shake. This is surprising, but so tasty. Get uh, some Italian salad dressing. Give it a good, you can get zesty or original, it doesn't matter. I have zesty here. And you're gonna use about half, 
half of this bottle. And I'd like to say I'll put the amounts below. Turn it back around. Depending on how much you make. It's not quite half. There, it's about half. And this is going to marinate in that Italian dressing. And you're going to serve this with nacho chips. Oh my gosh. You can get the scoop kind. You can you can use the whole bottle too. Like the beans are going to absorb some of the some of that liquid. Give it time to do that. Like I say, I give it a few hours. I, I know it's not finished marinating or anything, but I'm just going to grab a chip just to give these all a taste. I'm going to grab my chips. Have a look at that while I go get it. Look tasty. Oh my gosh. I'll move this out of the way. And it looks so good. Mm. Yeah. This is great for football Sundays, movie night, guests, whatever. It's good. I'm going to talk, but my mouth is full. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Try this cowboy caviar. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are at. Keep a good heart. Stay safe. God bless. Take care. All right.